All right, so first off, before we talk about anything else, I wanna give a huge thank you to each and every one of you that is watching this video. I mean, just now this morning, just a couple of hours ago, the channel has surpassed 200,000 subscribers, and just earlier this week, the total amount of views has just surpassed 50 million. That is like a ludicrous amount of people that have been watching the content. And just know that I never anticipated getting to this point. I mean, when I first started making a video years ago, I, I never really did it to try and get a lot of people to watch my content, but it sort of just grew over time. And I'm, I'm very, very grateful that you decided to tune in and that you decide to keep tuning in as well, because there is still growth that is, you know, very, very noticeable. So I'm very happy to say that we did indeed pass the 200K sub mark. I'm not going anywhere, I'm gonna keep on making content, but just know that I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, I figured this would be the perfect time to go ahead and post this picture right here on my Instagram. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them, and it turns out that quite a lot of you do. You know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and answer questions that are very frequently asked. All right, so Overblood asks, how do you, I, I hope by the way I pronounce your nickname correctly, I'm gonna probably butcher all of you guys' nicknames. I apologize in advance, but he asks, <laughs> How do you stay organized and productive? Congratulations on the subs. I try and be as productive as possible. Obviously, I'm human, so, you know, I also have days where I'm not really feeling it. But for the most part, what I found to be really, really helpful for myself is to split, like, the day in different segments. So, for the most part, I spent, like, the morning doing things for, like, self-improvement. Be it either, like, by working out or be it by reading books that I think are helpful or any of those kind of things. Then... The afternoon, well, usually my afternoon is such about 11, like 11 a.m. or so, and I, you know, it ends around 6 p.m. or so. But anyway, like the afternoon, that second segment, I go ahead and create the video content that you watch on YouTube. And then in the evening from like 6 to 10 p.m., I go ahead and do the live stream. And like splitting up the day in different segments has really been very helpful for me. And it made it a little bit easier to also spend some time away from the computer, you know, because I generally speaking actually don't really turn on my PC until like at least like 11, sometimes even noon. Second question that is one that I actually get on the live stream a lot comes from Tudor Invictus. He asks, have you ever thought about signing a sponsorship deal loco? Your stream is really good. Thank you very much. And he says... Uh, you also stream at exact hours. Here's the thing about sponsorships, because like I said, I do get this question a lot. It's not like I don't get approached by companies asking if I want to go ahead and be sponsored. As a matter of fact, I get probably a couple a day. <laughs> For the most part though, the companies that reach out our companies, like, this is, this is not just sponsorship for, your, for, for Twitch, by the way, but also for YouTube. But for the most part, the companies that reach out are either extremely shady or just companies that I would not want to work with. I mean, you have a lot of companies that reach out, such as, for example, like, gold-selling websites in World of Warcraft, or, like, power-leveling websites in, in any other games, or, like, boosting websites that boost up your accounts, or any of these, like, shady, gray market type of areas, and I don't want to be associated with those companies whatsoever. Now, every now and then, however, there is a cool opportunity available, and oftentimes I do go and talk with those companies, but really, like, it, it just sort of falls through. I've never been sponsored on stream before, not because I, I don't want to be sponsored or whatever. I mean, if there is a cool company that I want to use the products of that I think I would benefit you guys with as well by sponsoring, yeah, sure, I want to go ahead. But if I, I want to go ahead and, you know, get sponsored by those, but I will never go ahead and accept the sponsorship that I don't think is going to benefit you guys. And it's just going to be me promoting a product that I wouldn't even want to use in the first place. I will, I will only ever, if I ever accept a cool sponsorship, it's probably going to be with like one single company that, you know, is looking for like a long, like a long term partnership together and a company of which I actually want to use and maybe even already use the products of. But really, like the answer comes down to that. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be associated with the shady companies. I, I have no interest in like lying to you guys just because of a little bit of money. I mean, money, money is just money. Next question comes from Ben Amberson, and this is one that I get a lot. He asks, how did you learn English? Now, if you are born in the Netherlands, like myself, we do speak Dutch over here, right? Now, the issue is that if I want to go ahead and talk Dutch to you guys, only a handful will be able to understand what I'm trying to say, right? Like, there are only a couple of countries that speak uh, Dutch to begin with, or a variation of it, and for the most part, it's not a very great business language. So, when it comes to learning English in Dutch schools, it is, like, top priority. When I was, when I was actually in, in primary school, they already started teaching it as well. I know right now, for example, uh, kids learn to count at the same time in English as they learn how to count in Dutch. You know, that's that's basically the level we're talking about. But on top of that, like all of the television and all of the series and basically every single game 
is not necessarily like dubbed in Dutch, but it's all going to be translated with subtitles instead. So basically from like a really young age in the Netherlands, you will learn, you know, how to speak English. And the funny thing is if you ever go to the Netherlands and you ask, you know, just a random Dutch person to, you know, you know, basically any question really, they will go ahead and probably respond in perfect English after apologizing that their English is not very good. That's, that's basically the vibe that I seem to get from most Dutch people. Uh, they don't think they can speak like perfect English, but pretty much everyone over here does. Now granted, my Dutch accent is not very thick and the reason for that is just because I talk a lot of English. I mean, I talk more English than I do Dutch nowadays, right? So uh, over time, it's just something that I guess develops and, and, and turns into something a little bit different, I guess, I suppose. Metal Squid asked, if you wouldn't have been a YouTuber or a live streamer, what kind of job could you imagine working with? So one of the things that I found out actually from doing this whole like social media, YouTube, Twitch kind of thing is that I really enjoy um, working on social media. So I would not be surprised if this like whole thing never would work out that I would want to do something either with like community management or like social media management. I really, really enjoy that. But before doing this whole thing, right, before doing this whole thing full time, I always had my web design business on the side. I've always, I guess, been very entrepreneurial in the fact that I actually started like my own company, even though it was very small. When I was 18, right when I turned 18, I went to the Chamber of Commerce and I, I started my own company right from the get-go. I guess I would always want to be self-employed at the very least for like, you know, years to come. I, I, I'm pretty sure that even if this like whole thing didn't exist, I would still figure out a way because I really, really enjoy being able to, you know, work long hours on something that I really enjoy doing. And I don't really mind doing that because I get to set my own time schedule. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I would have figured out something else. And, you know, I, I don't plan. I don't plan on getting a, a quote unquote normal job anytime soon. But hey, who knows? Maybe that is something that I am looking for in the future. Why is Truss asks, and I totally butchered your name, where do you see yourself in five years with gaming, YouTube, and life wise? Here's the thing, I get this question quite a bit as well, and I think the main reason why people ask it is because I make online video content and the games that I play obviously have got a certain lifespan, so if those games like quote unquote die, that would mean I'm without a job, right? And I think that why a lot of people think that um, what I do for a living, I guess, is, is not very stable is mostly because of the fact that it's unorthodox, right? If you ask yourself, like, whatever job you are doing right now, right, be it like working in a grocery store or managing a business or whatever, right, be it any of any, anything in between, I'm pretty sure that no one can be like 100% certain of where they're going to be in 5 to 20 years, right? Like I get the question in a, in a wide range of variety and maybe, maybe my grandparents and my dad could still go ahead and, and make a decision for a lifetime job. But as, as it goes for me, right? I don't know where the future is going to be. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in 5 years. I, I certainly hope it's, it's what I'm doing right now because I enjoy doing this a ton, but Really, like, it, it totally depends on what the future holds and, um, you know, what I enjoy doing at the time. But, you know, as long as I can, I can do something that I truly enjoy doing and I can do that for a living, I will choose that a hundred times over having, you know, a little bit of stability and maybe more money, you know? Like, money, money, once again, it's, it's never been a top priority. Now, this is really turning into, like, a business slash, like, personal sort of Q&A. Um, I'm gonna be closing it out with one single question right here from Sweet Kiss as well. And he asks, besides recording YouTube videos and live streaming and working out, what are you doing to keep yourself developing all the time? That's I think what he's asking. So there's a couple of things, right? Like I said, I usually spent like the early part of the day working on like personal matters. And like I said, I try and work out pretty much every single day. I mean, I spend a lot of time at the computer. So, uh, I mean, as you already wisely pointed out, I do work out as often as I can, mostly because I sit in the room for pretty much the entire day if I'm not careful and I don't plan on, uh, you know, becoming, uh, becoming uh, absolutely the most inflexible person who just has the worst posture as well. So I do try and work out at least on a very, very regular basis, usually about, you know, four, five, six times a week. Um, but on top of that, I do a lot of reading as well. I, I try and, and, you know, just have a good time, really. Like, I try and read about, I would say, about a half hour or so every single day in books for self-development. I got, like, a list. I can make, like, a separate video about that because there's tons of recommendations of, of books that I would highly recommend for you to read. But, I mean, yeah, I really just try and spend my time doing what I think is going to be most productive at that given moment. And, I mean, it changes, it changes. Sometimes I just want to go ahead and, and sleep a little bit longer, right? Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that, that sometimes happens as well, but 
for the most part, I just try and do what I think at that point is gonna help me out the most so I can, you know, keep on improving in the long run as well. Cause I think, I think being stagnant and, and being in one place all the time and never actually moving forward it's probably not going to be the way that I want to live life. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Once again, thank you so much for reaching 200,000 subscribers and the 50 million viewer mark. That's absolutely ludicrous. I really appreciate it. So thank you very much for sticking with me and for hanging out on the channel. It's been an absolute blast that I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to keep on doing this for as long as possible. But for now, I want to thank you very much so for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, all right? And I will see you in the next one.